uh, I know you've won recognition for being a great place to work. Uh, what do you do to make sure your employers are happy, especially as you grow? Um, so this was an interesting one. Yeah, it's super, you know, our, our goal is, you know, we were, uh, two years ago, we were ranked the, the number six place, medium sized place work, place to work in, in LA. Uh, this year we were, we were number four and our goal is to be number one. And, um, I, I think that, you know, that's nice on its own, like the award itself, but what it really, that what really we're looking for is that we want to be, you know, a place that people you know, want to come to work. I mean, it, it sort of, it came out almost evolved really organically in that, you know, seven years ago, eight years ago when we started adding employees and we're a small team of two people and then four people and then eight people. Um, I wanted to be, have a place where I wanted to come into work, right? I wanted to have a place where Monday morning wasn't like the worst morning of the week that you come and you sit ne down next to people that you haven't seen since Friday and you want to, you know, chat with them and hang out and, and have the environment where work is not, you know, where work can be, you know, you work hard, but, but working hard on something you like to do is not, is not hard work. Right. And, and so it came out of just this selfish thing. Well, I don't want to go to a crappy place myself. And, and we didn't really have any preconceived notions of what you're supposed to do or not do. And, you know, interestingly, as during the progression of growing kind of like, you know, six or eight people and then 15 to 20 people, there's sort of these sort of turning points. And then, you know, 30 to 40 people. And then, you know, now we're, we're coming on, you know, hundred or so people, there was, there kept being this fear that, oh gosh, you know, once we get an HR person, uh, you know, all the, all the funds going away and no more ping pong and, 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 you know, we can't drink at our company events anymore. And, you know, that we just sort of felt like the fun would, we, we'd lose it. And to a certain extent, the opposite happened. Um, you know, while obviously there's, you know, some bureaucratic things that come with growing, uh, we're better, bigger, you know, as, as at each step along the way, we've been able to do more cool things. So, you know, we, you know, W promote, we do, uh, you know, we have a yoga instructor that, I mean, not all these things are expensive things. They're just things that are important to us. Uh, you know, two days a week, we have a yoga instructor that comes and 15 or 20 people do yoga. We have, uh, uh, you know, we have um, a masseuse that comes two days a week and, and gives 15 minute massages. And we have, you know, uh, uh, Friday we have happy hours in the office and, you know, it's called fine wine Fridays. And, and it's, it's, you know, it's kind of funny. We, on a side note, from a business perspective, um, we, we totaled up when we look back at, at 2012 and we totaled up and we said, okay, how much is all this stuff costing? Right. You know, it, it, it's got to add up. And, um, and, you know, we had a big holiday party that was really fun and, and, you know, well, is this stuff all worth it? And I kind of, I think it is. And, you know, interestingly, we totaled all this stuff up. Um, and we do a lot, a lot of stuff we do, you know, we, we just went to medieval times as a group and we, you know, go to Dodger games and we just, you know, and we ride the school bus and we do it cheaply and we, it's almost more fun, I think. And, uh, anyway, we, we totaled all this stuff up and it turned out to be w about 1% of our payroll on top went to all of this stuff combined. Um, and when I, when I found that out, it was, my reaction was, well, then let's, let's find another 1% because there's the, the idea that the, the happiness of our, the, the concept of had we just, everyone made 1% more money, um, we got such a, such a ridiculously greater return of and happiness and productivity and, 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 you know, employee retention off that 1% spent there, um, than in anything else or just getting, you know, getting paid those dollars out is, is ridiculous. Um, and you know, some things we do that, that really don't, don't cost anything. It's just a matter of culture. We have, we have a, a mentor, a mentor menteeship program that we launched where, um, we, uh, you know, every, when you, you're assigned, um, you're matched with somebody kind of like big brother, little brother, when you're an employee and, you know, you, you go and have lunch with them like once a month and you spend time and you have somebody, it's like that you can genuinely ask questions. You don't have to ask your boss or the, you know, someone that you, you can be really open and have this communication. And, and I think that's really important.